welcome to Ria and Alka show. We are so grateful, so grateful that you can join us each and every morning so that we can inspire you, you know, you can leverage on your life and your business. So this week we have been talking about money, mindset and success because yesterday Ria talked about from her book, from Robert Kiyosaki's Financial IQ. You know, so that is so important to, uh, you know, having that financial knowledge, being financially well, well-being, so that, you know, you can take care of your household, you can take care of the basic necessities that are really going to help you in the long run in your life. Because Ria, as we know, I mean, financial education, at, in my time at least, uh, maybe in your time, was not part of the educational curriculum, was not part of the curriculum. And would you agree though, Ria, that some adults even face difficulties when it comes to budgeting, when it comes to household? Hey, Alka, yeah. I'm guilty of that, okay? I came here in 2004 with no knowledge of finance. I have medical knowledge. I came to the USA in 2004 as a tourist visa. Tourist visa with zero apartment to my name, with zero financial education. I came here with knowledge on medicine. So I came here for my education on my degree as a doctor. I didn't know anything about finance. And that's why when we decided, my husband and I, to buy our first American dream home, and lo and behold, 2008 housing market crash, oh, yeah. we lost over 200,000. And you know why we did? Because you are correct. We were not equipped with financial IQ. We mm -hmm. didn't have financial knowledge. So now things are different because we learned it the hard way. So don't be like us without any financial knowledge while well, you are ahead because you have not lost over 200,000. Study Listen to us, listen to Alka and listen to Ria. We are sharing our own experiences with you. So you do not make the same mistakes as we did. So stay tuned, guys. Absolutely. So, you know, there you go. Uh, you know, you have to be uh, financially well so that you can take care of your household. You can take care of, you know, just the basic necessities to help you to live like you know we shared yesterday uh you know from rich dad poor dad what they both had but you know both of their thought processes what were they thinking how did they implement so today my friends i'm going to be sharing from my book think and grow rich which has sold and helped millions of people around the world in, you know, Napoleon Hill was a fantastic man, um, you know, a billionaire in his own time. And, you know, this book has really changed my life, has really changed my thought process. And at the end of the day, it comes down to your thought process. And today is a perfect segue because today the topic is on chapter nine, decisions. So Ria, that is just a perfect segue, uh, what you were talking about yesterday, what I'm going to talk about today. So decision, this is the seventh step to riches. So what I want to talk about decision, when it comes to decisions, the chapter talks about what are the steps that you are taking at the moment? What are the, what are the steps if it's to starting your own business? If it's to, uh, you know, the X amount of money that you desire, what is that? And what does that look like? And are you, the most important question is, are you taking actionable steps to get you to the point where you want to reach? What is that goal? What is that desired goal? What does it look like? Do you plan for your desired money that you are wanting, that you desire? So Ria, you know what, I have often, you know, when I make a decision to, for example, when I made my first decision to invest in a property, right, it took that one decision, I had my nine to five job that 
I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't 100% satisfied. And I knew for my well-being, for my future, for myself, my family, what did that look like? And what did I have to do? So I made an investment, my first investment property. That was a decision that I made to secure myself and for my family, for that long-term goal, that plan that I had for myself. So Ria, you know what? When we make a decision, I do not have the external forces around me, whether it's friends, family, you you know, people around, you know, there are some people that are naysayers. Oh, I don't think you can do that. Oh, I don't think you'd be able to be successful. But I stand my ground. Rio, what do you what do you say to that? And how do you uh, what, how, what do you do? So there are two things I want to share about the decision and the naysayers. One decision. Making a decision is in fact a decision, but making no action is also a decision. Just being on the sideline and not taking risk is definitely a decision. You wanting to not do anything, improve on your finances, just hoping and praying and giving our money to the banks or to our you know, financial advisors or to the Wall Street, that is a decision. Everything we do is a decision. Either it's a no, we're, we're, we're backing out, or it's a yes. So everything we do, there are consequences to it. Because why? Because we decided that we're going to do it. Either chillax, you know, not do anything about it, or proceed and do something about it. So whatever we do is a decision. Now, the second thing I can say about naysayers, we have a lot of naysayers. I have a yeah. lot of naysayers. We do, yes. <laughs> and majority of it, they're beside us, they're in front of us, you know, they're within, right? But what we need to do is I focus on my why. What is my why? We have, I have a bigger why. And those naysayers, if they say something to me, that means I'm doing something good, something that they have not done before. Yes, they love me. Yes, they're afraid that I'm going to fail. But hey, who in the long run will suffer? It is me that's going to suffer because why? My potential, I'm not going for for my potential. I am just staying at ease, at relaxed stage, at comfort stage. So that means when I am comfortable, I am not growing. When I am not growing, I am dying. Hey guys, I'm young. We are all young and I don't want to die. So when I'm old, I'm in my 90s, 100s, who knows? I can say to myself when my grandkids ask me, do you ever regret doing anything at all in your life? I'll tell them no, because why? I've done as much as I can right? Improving every day what I can. I'm trying to get to my potential. So when my death time, when my time comes in that death bath, I can say, Lord, they will be done. I've done everything I could. I'm ready to leave this earth. And that's the key point. That's the key point that, you know what? Do everything in your power right now. Do everything. So when we say do everything is what is making decisions, be quick on making decisions. So as I mentioned, if you are desiring to start a business, you have your 95 job and you I what you are wanting to exit your job. So don't exit your job straight away, but you need to be secure in that second um, investment that you are going to be making, you want to make sure that that is already built up. You're going to be successful in your second endeavor before you decide to leave your first job. So it doesn't make sense leaving your first one because your second, you might be successful, but you may not be successful. And so if you decide, if you make that decision to go for a new job, that new business that you are desiring, or an income that you're wanting. So your, your income could be um, what you're desiring, it could be 100,000 a month. So you're changing your yearly to your monthly. And if that's what you desire, if that's your decision, stick to it. 
So it is very important that this chapter talks about decisions, make quick decisions so that when we are quick and we are steadfast in what we are wanting and friends, don't, don't, do not let others influence you on your decisions. Rhea, you know what? A lot of people often say, you know, they want to do things. They desire to um, maybe go on a vacation. They desire to start a business. But oftentimes, something at the back of your mind, so on your conscious level, you don't, you doubt yourself. You are not 100% convicted as to your decisions and you know so we fall in that trap we fall backwards and well, so as what Rhea what you just said is that you know what make those decisions right now so that you don't so you don't alleviate the problems later on and that you know we might regret so regretting on your life regretting on the decisions that you wanted to make for yourself right so in terms of business i'm talking about that you wanted to get into a business but somebody said something to you and you said oh you know what maybe they're right but then that will cost you that will cost you so you don't ever want to uh you know stay in your conviction with what you desire what what you want and stay true to that so one tip that I can live to them or two tips that I can live to our viewers so that they can tune in on our next episode tomorrow. So first tip is just like you said, make decision fast. So with that, I will say success leaves, success mm -hmm. loves speed. Success loves speed. So number two, fail fast, fail early and fail forward. Don't be afraid. Because it takes 10,000 steps to get to that one working light bulb. So my friends, success loves speed. Fail fast, fail early, fail forward. Until the next episode, I'll see you then. Me and Alka will see you then. Thank you so much for that sharing, Ria. But you know what? Yeah, fail. Fail. Don't regret that you have failed. Don't regret that you, know, you were not successful the first time round, because no one is. I mean, let's look at Thomas Edison, as we all know, the inventor of the light bulb. Now we have electricity today, but that would not have been possible if Thomas Edison, if he quit, if he quit back in the, I think it was the 17th century, right, Maria? If he quit on his decision to give us electricity if his invention back then if we quit on his decision my friends we will not be having electricity we will not be talking to you guys today but it's all thanks to thomas edison that he did not quit on his decision he was fast he was quick and today we are thankful to him so this chapter and this book in itself, it is a lot to digest. I 100% get that. But the essence that we want to leave with you today is to whatever decision you are making for your life, for your family today, stick to your decisions. Be strong in your conviction so that nobody is going to, you know, tell you not to do that but you are gonna take those steps, make that decision, keep on moving forward to your great life. So my friends, we have come to the end of the show and we are so grateful, so happy that you have joined us this morning and every mornings. So thank you so much. We owe a great thanks to you for joining and tuning us every day. So in the meantime, be great be strong, stay in your conviction, stay in your lane, make decisions quick and steady and fast as possible because your life depends on it. And we wish you nothing but success. So Rhea and I are so grateful that you can join us and we will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye guys. Bye.